Hey, what's up, yo? This is Kid from Kid and Play. Uh, how do I feel about Spotify? Period. Let's see the numbers. Let's see the books. Open the books. Um, we appreciate that Spotify can get our music out uh, all over the world, but we we'd like to know how the how the numbers the numbers ain't crunching. <laughs> so so let's crunch the numbers. Much love. Man, you know, it's, it's humbling, you know what I'm saying? I'm around legends, man. Kid, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, my brother's exhibit, Edie, the Outlaws. That's Tupac history, you know what I'm saying? Legendary hip-hop history with Kid. So, I feel I feel blessed. And how can we find you? Where can we, where can we find oh, you can find me on the gram. That's the easiest way. Same thing everywhere else. At R-A-S underscore K-A-S-S. Raz Cass. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. We got 150 more, and then 150 more after that, then 100,000 more after that. Hip-hop is forever. So that's how I feel about 100, uh, 50 years of hip-hop. I support people doing whatever business works best for them, you know what I mean? However people are going to get to the bag, the best way is what I support. Yo, what up? I'm Speedy. Shout out to Respect Music TV. Remember the name, Recording It, all right? We're going to launch in 2024. It's a music streaming app. That's going to work in both the real world and the crypto space on the Web3. I'm the CEO of it. I have a team of very, very smart people that's putting this, up, putting this together to change the game and actually offset some of that bullshit that we're getting with the Spotify changing their practices. Let's go back to the beginning. We wasn't really getting what we deserved per stream. Recording is going to help solve that. It's completely user-friendly. It's for the artists. 
as well as the fan, and we're gonna be the first, the first to actually pay you to stream music. Yep, you heard me right. We're gonna pay you to stream music. It's a give and take. We're giving back. Y'all give to us, we're gonna give back to y'all. So be on the look up on for that. Of course, it definitely hurts the independent artist, the guy that's making it out the mud, starting at zero, zero, gonna take it all the way to 1,000. It hurts them, but again, we're giving you options out here in 2024. Remember the name, recording. Yeah, make sure you respect music. Make sure you res watch and respect music TV. You can find me, Edie Amin, Edie Don, Ophel, all over the place, man. Niggas feel real good right now. It's always you feel real me? good, especially because we both, you know, we work really hard and we work with a lot of people that, you know, yeah, yeah, that yeah, really yeah, did yeah, that yeah, thing yeah, for this, yeah, you know, this 50 year yeah, hip hop. Hey, come on. Hey, but hey, but I gotta be honest though. Storm putting on for hip hop because nigga, every family function. It's a West Coast banger. <laughs> going crazy. Oh, my mama. You already know what's happening. Every time, because you know this kid's guy and everybody fuck with him. You already know what's yeah, yeah. growing up in LA. Oh, oh, come on. Talk to me. Also, nigga, check out the 50th year of hip hop Grammy edition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas on stage with YG doing their little shit, little ah uh ah. -uh. She did the Super Bowl, nigga. They don't get no more West Coast than that. You oh, feel yeah. me? We, we very excited. We love yeah. it here. Shout out yeah. to y'all, though. Yeah, shout out to the gang. Esau. Y'all got coming out next, bro, man. Shit, everything, nigga. Oh, God, everything. I, you don't look. I'm finna go on a small little tour, so hey, let me you say so. You got, <laughs> right, nigga, I'm selling water, socks. Whatever I get my hands on, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, man. We appreciate y'all. Come on, easy call. Respect Music TV. Shout out to Respect Music TV. Make sure y'all tap in with them. They got the best interviews, you know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. Like that. Like that. It's Esau, nigga. What's up? Shout out. Respect Music TV. You feel me? Our first Complex Con. You know, the, the homies just pulled up on me right now. I really appreciate it. You feel me? But we here, man. It's for the culture, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? It's all love, bro. For real. We got to alleviate a lot of the politics and work together, come together and push forward what we got to push forward, bro. You feel me? At the end of the day, that's what we got to do, bro. And just keep evolving and metamorphosizing, bro. Uh, at Yellow Hill, man, I got new projects. I wish it was the 90s coming out a couple months. We got new music dropping in a week. Stay tuned, bro. You already know. Yes, sir. Keep pushing it out to where you can get your own benefits. I started off when I... What I say, uh, when I got my first $400, I said, if I keep doing this, I'm gonna get $800. Double that, $600, and $1,600, and just keep doubling up. Shit, it builds character, it builds um, knowledge in the, um, and, and, and music knowledge, because some people just rapping and don't know the business behind it. So by the time the money start even getting dished out anywhere, they don't even know how to recruit it. So it's better to, to, to stay independent so you can learn those things, you know? You gotta know what, what, what costs what and what don't cost nothing. Alright, what we got coming up next for you, my bro? Uh, shit, Rapper Overnight 3. That's finna go crazy. That's right. So we, are we looking forward like, to a stink team take? I, I know everybody looking for a stink team take. You know I mean, we, if we could put together a stink team take, you know? But, you know. Just gotta wait. <laughs> Another question. So, what do you feel like LA right now is missing to bring LA back to mainstream hip hop? Shit, the old niggas. <laughs> they don't do shit. They don't. They don't never. Um, uh, it's just too many gaps. You know what I'm saying? Draco, the only one that was giving out verses for well, as big as he was. Shit, everybody else, they ain't really like putting no young niggas on. I don't know who Snoop put on, no Ice Cube put on Dr. Dre, but they still looked at us the, like the legends. You know? Uh, Ralphie the Plug, the plug by Ralphie. Um, follow me on YouTube, all the shits, man. Gang and them, no lanes with them. Long live the ruler, long live the greatest. We all know Spotify, these companies are stealing our money. They're, they're reinventing the rules and setting the rules up to benefit them. How, all of, how does all of a sudden we only get paid for uh, uh, you know, a few seconds of a, a stream or a few minutes of a stream? It's, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, man. Do you have any solutions in mind that, that need to be done? I think that, honestly, the state of the industry that it's in right now, it's hard to say, man. I mean, everybody can just go buy a setup and you know, set up a studio setup at their house 
and they haven't been trained, they haven't been developed, uh, they ain't put the work in to really master their craft, and you catch one good catchy record and you go viral, and the labels are, are focused more on that. So I mean, we got so many issues right now signing people based off, uh, you know, off of streams, or not streams, I'm sorry, signing people based off popularity really. Just TikTok is fucking everything up, for real, for real. It's not, it's not forcing artists to just focus on the crab. Take three, four, five years. Don't come out, don't do nothing. Just focus on your craft and then smack people in the head. Smack niggas in the head with some incredible left different shit. Every time. You know, this cookie cutter, oh, I can get a studio real quick and just make some shit. Ah, ah, all these weird ass dancers. Like, where's the, where's the integrity? There's no integrity in this generation. We gotta stop that. So, that's my take. You can find me uh, on Instagram at uh, Illish Producer. Uh, Killer B. Tap in with me. Put the work in, you gonna get paid. You know what I'm saying? It's simple, consistency. It's crazy because like I just make music for myself. You feel me? I be looking just to have fun with this shit. So it's really strange to me, but in a good way, how people just, you know what I'm saying, attract to that shit and it inspires them. You feel me? So I keep doing it. I just keep having fun. If I have fun, they have fun. I get shit, man. Stay true to yourself. You feel me? That's the best way. You stay true to yourself and you, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to be like me. You feel me? Be like yourself. You see what I'm saying? Take a little bit of everybody. You feel me? It's your boy Uno the motherfucking act. And I'm here with Respect TV, man. Respect Music TV, bro. My bad. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good to bring stuff back. I just got a couple pairs of jeans, some hoodies. Oh, it's big. You already know what it is. Man, what can we look forward to you next, man? Right. Honestly, yeah, more stores I'm opening. Big, I got a few open. Nobody knows the names yet, but it's gonna come out soon. A couple more stores, another app dropping, and I'm fixing authentication. I'm changing the game. Okay. And one more advice to anybody that's inspired by you, man. Honestly, don't give up, no matter what. Especially no matter what people tell you. Make sure you go with your cheap what you want. For Brooklyn's finest, the New York Giant God's favorite DJ Clark Kent, you are watching Respect Music TV. Please respect the music. All right.